Greetings and uh, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. So first things first, I want to announce the winner of Jeff Copeland's Realme. Now to save time because I'm working now, uh, I couldn't make a video just for the giveaway. So I got all the names from the whoever commented and put it in uh, the wheelofnames.com uh, little raffle wheel. So the winner is Alex Chin. Alex Chin. So if you would get in touch with me, Alex, through maybe Facebook or Instagram, or you could go to my website, rickholcomagic.com, and fill out the contact form. Uh, get me your address, and uh, I'll get this in the mail to you. So congratulations to you, Alex. You're the winner. So this week, I'm going to be reviewing uh, the New York Corn Magic Seminar set of DVDs. And I want to thank Vanishing Ink Magic uh, I just reached out to them in hopes that they might send me books or DVDs or downloads uh, for the purpose of reviewing. So uh, they sent me the entire 16 volume uh, download of New York Coin Magic Seminar. Now, so I want to say thank you to them. And uh, hopefully in the future I might get some physical products, maybe books or uh, I know they, they carry a few different coin gaffs and things like that so that I could give those items away to you guys. But we'll see how that works out. But this is the, the first thing I'm doing from them and hopefully it can continue. So I, I do own a number of these already, uh, the actual DVDs, and I have a few of them that I downloaded uh, on my computer. But so they sent me the entire 16 volume set uh, as downloadable files. You can also stream those right from the website. So let's talk about the project itself. Now I did some digging around and uh, found an old website from Dan Watkins, uh, coinvanish.com. And he has some information there on not just this seminar, but uh, older coin magic products and other conventions and seminars and it seemed to be in 2004 after a convention in Las Vegas Michael Rubenstein uh, put together the New York coin magic seminar with David Roth, Mike Gallo and Jeff Lotta and so that that was held in 2004 and I think the first DVD came out in 2005 I'm not certain on that but I like to know the history of stuff and, and how stuff came to be. So, And from what it appears is they took material from the seminars and then it came out on not just one DVD but maybe was split up into two or sometimes three DVDs. So there wasn't 16 seminars but the material stretched out to fill that many DVDs. So just so you know that. And so the, the key players here are Michael Rubenstein, David Roth, uh, Mike Gallo, and Jeff Lotta. And with tons of other guest appearances, like I had to make notes because there's a lot to say about this. Uh, other people like Carnot Harbottle, Dan Watkins, Mark D'Souza, Eric DeCamps, Doug Brewer, Giacomo Bertini, Bill Satino, Scotty York, Scott Robinson, Al Schneider, Bob Fitch, and even Eric Jones. There's one item in here from Eric Jones, which is it's awesome. So more about the whole set. Like I said, there's 16 volumes, uh, but when you get the physical DVDs, there's actually 17 discs. So, and there's 34 hours of magic. You add it all up with 225 tricks, uh, moves, and other discussions. So on, on, each, uh, on each video, there's a portion usually at the end or sometimes in the middle where uh, there's discussions about history or moves or maybe a particular effect in general that the guys are just going back and forth with their thoughts and opinions and uh, even little stories here and there, which I, I just find that information to be so valuable and interesting. And uh, Al Schneider gives some great talks about theory uh, on coin vanishes and construction. 
He talks about his matrix effect. He talks about the pop-up move, which is a, a finicky move, and it can look bad, but it can also be uh, very fooling. And so he dives into that. There's other talks with uh, Bob Fitch, more about performance, stage presence, and and unpacking those ideas and how to be a better performer. So along with the great tricks, you get great theory and discussion about magic in general, which is super valuable. And in my opinion, this, this set is by far the best value you can get in all of coin magic, even with the stuff that's come out recently. Uh, if you're looking to advance your skill and, and your knowledge of coin magic, uh, there's not a better place to go than this set, I think. Uh, there's just so many fine details about, you know, even in each explanation of the tricks, you, you gotta pay attention because there's little fine details about moves and the history of moves and stuff you'll learn about how tricks have evolved and where moves came from. And that's this kind of stuff that just fascinates me. So, more about the set in general, uh, each disc costs $15 from Vanishing Ink, which is a huge value in itself. I think each of these are uh, about an hour and a half or two hours. So for $15, you're getting a ton of magic. And I, I've printed out here the, the table of contents uh, which I got from Michael Rubenstein, and yeah, each video consists of at least 15, sometimes 20 items. So for $15, uh, it's a huge value. And in particular, uh, the first video on Coins Across, you're getting two discs, and it's over four hours of material for $15. So in particular, the, the first volume is a, a crazy value. You just don't find that anywhere else. And even with the stuff that's come out recently, there's nothing that compares to this. You're getting so much magic from so many different expert performers and, and their variations and their different styles. Uh, even from the books that have come out recently, you're not getting this kind of value. Uh, this is comparable to Bobo's, where you have so many contributions and then so many variations on one theme, you're just not able to find this type of collection anywhere. And the best part is, uh, only from Vanishing Ink can you buy a digital version. So you can buy this whole set and be able to download it on your computer. And the whole set 16 videos is $200 and that's a 20% discount if you were to buy the physical DVDs. So nowhere else can you do that except Vanishing Ink. And uh, for me, I find it more convenient. It's like instant gratification. If you're, if you're looking for a video and you buy it, then you can watch it right away. But there is, there is value in having a physical copy of something. So I know some people are particular about that, but for me, the uh, the less money I can spend and the more magic I get, uh, it kind of means more to me, I guess. The one downside is with your with your digital copy, there's no clickable menu like on a DVD. So you, if you've watched it once and you you want to go back and see a particular thing again you have to kind of scrub through and find that that trick you're looking for. Or maybe it's been a year ago and you're trying to find that trick. There, there's no table of contents, there's no menu to click. You, you just have to find it. So it's a little frustrating, but for what you're getting, it's, for me, easy to ignore. But one other thing I wish they had done is if you, if you buy the whole set uh, as downloads, they don't give you the title of each, of each video. So like volume one, coins across, volume two, copper, silver. 
it just says New York Coin Magic Seminar 1, New York Coin Magic Seminar 2, 3, 4. So even if you're searching for a particular trick you're trying to remember, now you have to remember which disc it's on to even go search for it. So it'd be nice if they added a, a table of contents and even if they put some timestamps so you could find the volume you're, look, you're looking for and then the trick and then what time that trick is then you could easily find it but like I said uh, nowhere else can you get it for the price of two hundred dollars and, uh, and and get the whole set so if you consider how much books cost nowadays uh, you know fifty to eighty dollars or you consider how much you spend on magic you know this year two hundred dollars is not out of the question it's a big purchase but uh, for what you're getting you know 34 hours of magic with 225 tricks and if you're looking to improve your coin magic it's not a huge investment I mean uh, it depends on you but in my opinion there's nothing else out there that compares to this uh, the closest thing would be Bobo's because of the variety of material but Bobo's is 50 60 years old this stuff is from the last 10 and 20 years so you're getting uh, fresh ideas and approaches to coin magic from tons of experts in the field now if you are on the fence about spending the $200 uh, and you want to buy if you want to try one out or you just don't have the money and you want to space it out uh, volume one is the best place to start and it's the best value because it's it's got the, the two discs or if you download it you'll get uh, one long video or sorry they split it up into two videos but uh, like I mentioned before this this one is four hours so tons of coins across variations on here and the special guest on this one is kind of a hard bottle and uh, you'll see stuff on here that appeared later on when he did uh, lectures with Penguin Magic and Murphy's but there's stuff on here that uh, you can't find anywhere else so uh, the best place to start is number one so let me briefly go over the the contents of the videos so you know what you're getting here and like I said I printed out this table of contents I got from Michael Rubenstein to help explain for you what we got here. So volume one is all about coins across and you've got kind of a hard bottle on here Roth, Rubenstein, Gallo, Lada and a lot of Roth stuff most people are familiar with. Uh, all, all of his items here throughout the set uh, are coming from expert coin magic <clears throat> but there's stuff that hasn't uh, appeared anywhere else too so keep that in mind as you go through but uh, you've got Ross Wing Silver, Chink a Chink, the shelled coins across, uh, items from Rubenstein, Jeff Lada's got a few takes on coins across, and he's got a, a handling of three fly. And there's there's things in here that are up at chest level, things that are just in the hands, things that utilize the table and tricks that employ gaffs and tricks that are all sleight of hand so I was talking about the variety of material here you've got it's not just coins across this is a workshop of coins across in any way you could think to perform it so if you never use a table well there's stuff on here for you if you never perform edge grip stuff or stuff in the hands well there's still stuff on here for you so it's got every way to perform coins across and this is true for the whole set so uh, video one is all coins across and then volume two is copper silver actually volume two volume three and volume four cover copper silver so three volumes on copper silver effects that includes transpositions wild coin uh, copper silver brass effects and uh, Michael Rubenstein's uh, performance of Twilight Zone Wildcoin he did on Penn and Teller. You'll find that on here. 
And even if you've learned the most recent version he has, it's good to see stuff in its earlier form. Uh, at least for me, I like to see a performance by somebody that's uh, recent, and then if I can see that the way they did that years ago and compare improvements they've made and, and analyze their decision making, because that helps me with my own coin magic. Uh, I can ask myself, well, why did he make this decision, you know, over these years to change this part of the trick? And it makes me think about what, I, what I'm doing with my own magic to hopefully progress faster. If you can watch people's decision making and learn from it, it'll help you grow. So volume two, three, four is all copper silver stuff. And that this might have been my favorite. I don't know. I like volume one a lot. But volume two, three, four, copper, silver stuff. I guess that's my favorite genre of coin magic. Uh, transpositions and transformations. So there's just a ton of stuff uh, on two, three, four. And Mike Gallo is a... Uh, He's, he's pushed to the, the top of my list of favorite coin magicians because his stuff is hard to find. He has stuff in all different publications over the years, like Apocalypse, uh, The Trapdoor, uh, I can't think of The Almanac, but, and he did put out uh, one or two videos of his magic years ago, but you don't see his stuff all over the place, like David Roth or even Michael Rubenstein stuff. But he is just one of the slickest coin magicians I've ever seen. And throughout the set, he uses this gaff that it's it's an ancient gaff. It's called a Siamese coin. Uh, you can tell by the name what it is. If you think about Siamese twins, and he uses it in all different ways. Sometimes the coins are in a spread, sometimes they're in a stack, but it's a Siamese coin gimmick. And the stuff he accomplishes with that, it, it just fooled the socks off me. And I, I'm gonna go make one of those. You can make it at home. You just need some glue, but uh, just some really clever thinking. So after going through this whole set, he's kind of pushed to the, the top of my list of favorite coin magicians. So moving on, two, three, four, copper, silver, then starting with volume five, six, then seven, we get into productions, vanishes, and penetrations. So that's a theme that covers five, six, and seven. So you've got routines like the hanging coins, uh, Kainoa Harbottle teaches his pendulum hanging coins, and he teaches another variation on that. And you've got a few versions of Ramsey's coin and cylinder. Of course, uh, David Ross' purse and glass, which is an awesome routine. His portable hole routine. And uh, Giacomo Bertini makes an appearance here. And then moving on to volume eight. Eight, nine, ten. They're simply titled more, much more, and then still more. So there's not a specific theme here with, with these uh, sets. Not this set, but eight, nine, ten. Starting here, you get there's more variety of effects going on. So we've got nest of boxes, blank coin routine, gad about coins. Uh, there's transpositions. There's still coins across here from other people. Uh, so yeah, at this point, it's you're getting just a wide variety of routines. What changes, I think, is uh, you're seeing a lot more, not theatrical, but maybe formal performances, uh, more props involved. So it's still good coin magic, but it's not necessarily have the impromptu feel like you know, the coins across, or copper, silver. So you're seeing a lot more props uh, with these three videos. So that's eight, nine, 10. Starting with 11, 12, 13. 
these are themed as workers. So these are really uh, getting back to an impromptu feel of coin magic. So there's there's Okito box stuff on here, not necessarily impromptu, but uh, Bill Satino teaches an effect on here. Money doesn't grow on trees, which is a, a really cool take on a, the hanging coins type of a trick. Coins appearing, vanishing, all in the hands. Uh, great trick there. Scott Robinson teaches his his great transposition effect differences, which I love that I've seen in person a few times. And uh, Scotty York's on here with just some cool, quick like bar tricks that are always fun to have in your arsenal. So then when we get to 14, 15, 16, these are titled Methods, Performances, and Presentations. And I guess the theme here is, is more about uh, diving into unique methodologies and then unique performances and the, the props come back with, you know, purse frames, chopsticks, the Okito box. And uh, you'll see on the last volume, uh, David Ross' Asian coin act, which has, has never been seen anywhere else. So that, that's cool to see too. So that's briefly all the contents of the the whole 16 video set. And down below in this description of the video, I will copy and paste this. So if you're interested, you can just copy that and then have it, you know, saved on your computer for your reference. Like I said, I, I got that from Michael Rubenstein. And uh, just to finish up, like I said, the, you're not going to find the breadth and the depth of, of value anywhere else than this set. You're getting it from so many different people and the different styles and approaches. Uh, for the money, this is the best place to go. If you've finished with Bobo's, you feel like you've studied, or maybe you're, you're at a point where you just don't know where to go after Bobo's, you know, Coin Magic by Richard Kaufman is out of print. Expert Coin Magic is out of print. David Roth has videos which are awesome, but it's just David Roth. David Roth is on here along with, you know, half a dozen other guys. And you're getting a lot of crossover from the videos he's made years ago. So if you're looking to expand your skill, get its inspiration, uh, there's just no other set like this out there. So I highly recommend picking it up. Like I said, only Vanishing Ink has the downloadable versions. You can still get the, the actual DVDs for only $15. So if you're on the fence with the $200, just pick up volume one and you'll want to get the rest. So that is my take on the New York Coin Magic seminar set. Uh, Best value in coin magic by far. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, with the contest, I just asked you guys to leave a comment. But uh, the stuff you guys were saying and commenting it just means so much to me. And I didn't ask you what to comment or anything, but most everyone is leaving the, the nicest compliments uh, to me and, and the channel and the work I'm doing. So. That just means a lot to me. And I wanted to do this on YouTube because there's a huge void of coin magic, coin magic discussions, coin magic reviews on YouTube. So it was partly to fill that void and to put up my own material in a way and just to do something different. So I feel like I'm accomplishing in that by reading your comments, so uh, thanks again for that. And as far as the reviews, you know, I just, I think you should hear from a guy who does coin magic about coin magic products, books, DVDs, because there's a lot of reviewers out there that you haven't seen perform anything. So how do you value what they have to say? And I'm not gonna review something and tell you 
it's good or bad, but I'll tell you what you're getting out of it. So hopefully you're, you're more informed if you want to purchase something or not purchase it. And uh, I feel strongly about this set, so I can comfortably recommend it to you that you won't be disappointed. So with reviews in the future, I'm going to take the same approach. I'm going to inform you, tell you in as much detail as I can what you're getting so you know where your money's going and if you want to spend money on that item. So the decision's up to you. I'm, don't let a reviewer tell you what's good or bad. If you've ever seen a movie that you loved and you read reviews that say it was bad, you know what I'm talking about. Make decisions for yourself and hopefully I can just help to inform you. But, uh, that's all for this week. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I might have another review for next week. I gotta wait on something, but otherwise it will be something interesting if it's not a review. See you next time.